In this example, we're going to be working with the HTML5 canvas element and JavaScript selecting the canvas object, writing to the canvas using the get context. We're going to add an event listener to the input element and upload an image into canvas. We're going to be creating using the URL create object URL method to create a static image that then we're going to use that static image source and add it into canvas by drawing it into the canvas element. So an example of the application is that it's going to present the user with the choose file and the user can select and selecting, I'm going to be selecting an image file from my computer within a folder called uploads. So this is a PNG file, but it will also work with JPEGs. Selecting the open, that will add that image into the canvas and also adjust the dimensions accordingly. So not all of the images are going to be the same size. We can select and we can have different image dimensions and that's going to adjust the canvas height and width dynamically as we interact with the input field. So that's coming up in this lesson. So go ahead and create an index file or HTML file linked to your script. I'm calling it app1.js. So that's where all of the JavaScript is going to be held. We need to create a few elements on the page. The first one is going to be an input element. So this is going to be type and set it as type file. Let's uh, give it a class. And this is going to be the image input field that we're going to be adding to our canvas element. So we can just call it my image. And then we also need to add in the canvas element on the page. And we'll also give this one a class of canvas, or we can actually give it an ID of canvas so that we can uniquely identify it on the page. So that's the two HTML elements that you're going to need on your page. I've got the browser window opened on the right hand side and I've got the editor opened on the left hand side. So as I'm writing the code, you're going to see it being displayed here on the right hand side within the browser. So now open up the JavaScript file and let's just confirm first that our JavaScript code and file is connected. So I'm going to type in ready and output that into the console. Using the Chrome browser, I'm going to access the dev tools. So right clicking or control clicking anywhere on the open part of the page. Let's hit inspect and that's going to open up the dev tools. I've got the dev tools by default going to the bottom of the page. Uh, within the dev tools, go over to the console and just check to make sure that you do have the message there that does say ready. So that's outputting ready and that's coming from the JavaScript file. So ready to make a selection of the page elements and start incorporating them into the application. Uh, so first up, let's select and select this element. And whenever the user makes a selection, chooses the file and there's a file that's been selected. So if there's an on change, event on this element, then we can trigger the function to run. So selecting that. And first we're going to select the element, we'll just call it my input and using the document query selector, let's select the element. We're selecting the element with a class of my image. So using the prefix of period before the my image name. So that will select that element into the JavaScript code. And we now we can reference that element as my input. So my, that my input object will be referencing that. So let's select the my input and add an event listener. The event that we're going to be listening for is going to be change. And whenever change is triggered, then we're going to run a function. So right now we'll just output into the console that it's changed. So that means that we've received that event and we're going to log that into the console that that event has been uh, triggered. So now we are going to test out that the on change event is being fired off. So selecting within the browser, the choose file and opening up on my local machine, I've got a folder called uploads where I've got some images. So let's just select one of these images here and click open. So what happened is that it did update as the file input is now currently going to be that image. And we did see that within the console, we have the word changed. 
So that means that that event successfully got triggered as we made a selection and an update to the input. So ready to move on to the next part where we want to select an image and we want to create an object URL with that image. And then afterwards, we're going to take that object URL and we're going to draw that into the canvas. So select and creating a brand new image object. We can just call it IMG and create a new image object in JavaScript. And then once that image has loaded, so do the on load, we want to run the function and this can be a function, we'll just call it update. So we do need to also create that function. And we're, right now we'll just do it as a placeholder as we're going to pass in the image object contents into it. And we can reference the image object using this within the update function. And also we can capture if there are any errors. So selecting the on error. And if there are any errors, then we can run the function error message. And we'll create that function as well. So if any errors occur, for whatever reason, we can capture that and output that. And we can output that into the console as an error. So now that we've got the error message, uh, let's get the image and select the source of the image. And the source of the image, we can use the URL and create object URL. And the URL create object URL, there's more information over at the Mozilla Developer Network about this method. It's a static method and essentially what it does is it creates a DOM string uh, containing the URL representation of the object given in the parameter. So it'll create an object format for the image that's being uploaded. So in this case, we're uploading an image which can be considered a blob and that way we're returning it into a DOM string. So I'll give you an example of how this works. So it's requesting is going to be what the source of the file is going to be. And that source of the file is going to be sitting within the my input and sitting under the files. And in this case, we only want to select the first file within the list. So we're going to use the index value for zero. And this will return back the first file within the list of files. And that's the items that are sitting within the file type of the input. So try that out, selecting an image and select an image from our computers. And we are selected to successfully added that image to the input. And then we were also able to successfully run the code where we've run the changed output into the console. And also we can now look up to what we can do with the update because within the update, this is where we're going to be drawing onto the canvas. So selecting that canvas object, and I'll select it globally. As in this case, if we do need to access the canvas object in other parts of the code, we can select it a lot easier. So using the document and query selector, select the element with an ID of canvas. So that will select that canvas element from the page and put it into an object in JavaScript, a canvas object. And in order to interact with the canvas, we need to set the get context. And the context is going to be using the canvas object that we've just created here, adding in a method called get context. And the context that we're going to be getting it as is within the 2D. And so now we can reference the CTX object in order to interact and draw on our canvas. We can also dynamically adjust the height and width. And now that we've got on load an update, we can console log and reference this. And what that will do is that will reference the item that we've just added and uploaded to the image source coming from the my input files. And that's coming from that input object on the page. So that gives us the image source there. And if you open this up, this is going to be a blob type that's going to be referencing the image. And that's located directly within the browser. So if we refresh that, that will go away. So that's being held within the browser. 
that's directing the, the link to where the file data is currently being stored. So we can use the this object and we can get some properties because this is an image. We can get the width and the height. So if we were to select the width, that would return back the width of the selected image. And then also we could get the height of that object at this point. So what we want to do is we want to take the canvas object and adjust the width so that we have the same dimensions. So this width. And also let's update the height of canvas so that it will dynamically change with the different image dimensions. And then lastly, what we want to do is use the CTX and the draw image method. And we want to draw this current image at position 0, 0 within the canvas. So try that one more time. Select it. That created an upload of that image, and it's really large. So what you can do as well is you can adjust the height of the canvas. So we could do a division by five, division by five, and that will change the canvas image, but it's actually not gonna change the drawn image on the page. And we can set the destination width and height as well. So let's create a value for the width, and then also for the height in the code, first the width and then the height of the destination object. So what that will do is that will shrink it down and shrink the size by dividing it by five and also set the canvas height and width to be the same height and width as the image. So we're just dividing it by five and we're changing the dimensions of it. If it does throw an error, we can output the error as a console error message and we'll just write wrong file type. And this error message will get thrown every time there are some issues with the file upload. Uh, so we don't have, we have all of the files here and even if it's given the wrong extension, so this is actually a PNG file, even if we select it, it's still gonna re recognize it as an image and it's not gonna throw the error, it will actually upload it into the canvas. And once it's within the canvas, if you go to the canvas and do an inspect, you could see that there's a width and a height, and these are gonna be changing depending on the dimensions of the image as well as we're uploading and adding those images into the canvas. So this has been an example of how you can use the create object URL and canvas and add images from your computer into canvas. So go ahead now and create your own version of this. Try it out to get more familiar with how you can add images locally into Canvas.